Hi guys, I'm so happy to be back. This is Matt and today I am teaching you how to make the Arrowhead Friendship Bracelet from start to finish. It is one of my favorite designs and I recommend using the colors that I do in the pattern for the first one just so you can get used to the design before you move on to one of the other colors. If you want to learn how to make triangle ends and the loop, tear loop at the beginning, I will be linking those videos down below, so please watch those to learn how to make the beginning loop and the triangle endings. Here are the six colors I used, and I have 10 feet of string. Each one is double as tall as me. Also be sure to hit a big thumbs up and subscribe now I am going to go ahead and start with my bracelet using this triangle here. Again, if you want to learn how to make the teardrop loop, please watch the video down below as that is another eight minute long video just to make the loop. Okay, here we go. One color at a time working our way to the middle. Now when we get to this blue one here, you can see the arrow turns. It means forward loop, backward loop. The goal is to get the string back on the left hand side. To get on the left hand side is a backwards loop. On the mirror image, we are doing backwards loops all the way to the middle. And then on the blue one, we are going to do a backwards forwards loop to get the green string on the right hand side. Now with the green out of the way, the blue is in the center and we can tie it together. Now we are making the two triangles on each side. Starting with yellow, we are working our way up the orange, red, and purple yarn. Again, looking closely, forward, backward loop as we want to get to the left hand side of the purple yarn. Always look closely at the direction of the arrows. Again, these are not my designs. I will be linking where you can get them at bracelet.book.com down below for the full design patterns and more. Today, I am just here how to show you it and how to make it the easiest as it's easier always to watch a video tutorial than learn it the first time by yourself. forward, backward loop for orange, and finishing with the yellow.
Next part are just two greens on each side going to the backwards, 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 forwards. And lastly here we're going to go ahead and do the square blue in the middle working our way now on the purple backwards forwards as we're working our way back to tie the two blues together. And now we're working the yellow with the green in the middle dot, which means you just make a typical chevron design to the middle, except right before you get to the middle, you're going to turn the yellow, in this case, forwards, backwards, on the other side, backwards, forwards. green can be in the center. Here we are so far. So this is pretty much everything you need to know. Now we're just working over everything we've done but a different color. We are now doing a triangle in orange. On both sides. Then working instead of green, we are doing yellow. And now our center square is green. The triangle around it is now yellow and moving forward it will always be a changing color. Okay, here is what we have so far. It's looking good. And here is the triangle ending. I will link this down below to teach you how to make the proper ending so that your bracelet looks great from the beginning to end. I'm just going to do a quick ponytail knot here. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the twist method. Twist half the strings in one direction. Twist the other set in the same direction. And then you can slowly release, and in the opposite direction, they will spin together. 
Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please hit a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun videos. And don't forget to watch the videos that show you how to make the teardrop loop and also the triangle ending. Also, with my extra string, I like to make these little tiny bracelets so that no string goes to waste.